It's three years since Tasnay van Wijk went missing from her home in Alsis River. Her remains were found days later in a stormwater drain 100 kilometers from all she knew. Her corpse was desecrated. Judge Alan Maher said the 57-year-old man, Moidian Pangakar, has no remorse, is a predator and a dangerous, violent criminal. Every aspect of her murder fills one with revulsion and the circumstances surrounding her death renders her wanton murder particularly serious and senseless. While every murder is serious, the brutal and extremely violent murder of a defenseless eight-year-old girl on a dark night in the middle of nowhere, far from her home and her family, after she was violently and painfully raped, unarguably renders this particular murder and rape especially morally blameworthy and the accused's acts are the apotheosis of the heart of darkness. The court found Pangakar to be a vicious serial rapist who was only interested in his own depraved needs. His actions were also found to be premeditated and his crimes were found to outweigh his personal circumstances. He clearly is beyond any hope of rehabilitation and cannot be reintegrated into society. He poses a physical threat, is prone to violence, and can only be described as deceitful, manipulative, and cruel. Community members packed the public gallery and were elated with the judgment. The judge described what Tasnay's family lived through as a nightmare and says their pain and loss is incomprehensible. I'm glad. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit relieved and so, and so forth, but I'm still... Not, and yeah, and pain and shock. And it's something you won't forget about me. It will love forever, ever, ever with you and always. Thank you. Of the 27 charges against him, the murderer was convicted of 22, which also includes other counts of rape. The sentences will run concurrently. His name would be entered into the register of sex offenders and that his file, the information will be put in, in his file so that it gets considered whenever he tries to apply either for parole or be released in any other way, which gives us hope that he might be even be spending more time in, in prison. We are very pleased with that sentence. When he committed the crimes, the murderer was a parolee. How he was let out time and time and time again after failing his parole seven times in a row he was still let out on our streets and if the justice system didn't fail us then Tasnay would still be alive today as much as this has been concluded and he will be getting what's coming to him the parole board still needs to be taken on because they still have the blood of Tasnay on their hands and until they are sorted for their part that they played in this, it won't be complete fair justice. A criminal is eligible for parole after serving 25 years of a life sentence, but it is not a guarantee that it may be granted. Mariska Boeta, SABC News, Cape Town.